Hi, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. Today's pick a card is going to be so much fun. We're going to find out who is crushing on you and what are their 18 plus fantasies about you. So there's going to be three different piles, okay? And if you're drawn to more than one pile, feel free to choose however many piles you'd like, okay? Whenever that happens, it means there might be some multiple messages for you. Likewise, if you choose a pile and it just doesn't seem to resonate with you, that's okay. It can happen sometimes because this is a general reading. So if that happens to you, just go back to the beginning and choose a different pile, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card all about who is crushing on you and what are their 18 plus fantasies about you. Hello and welcome to your pile selection with gemstones. So for pile one, we've got this piece of blue quartz. So if you are drawn to image one or blue quartz, you'll choose pile number one. For pile number two, we've got image two or this beautiful rose quartz. So if you are drawn to image two or this rose quartz, you'll choose pile number two. If you are drawn to image three or lemon quartz, you will choose pile number three. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video at this time if you need more time to think about which you're most drawn to. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card all about who has a crush on you and what are their 18 plus fantasies about you. Hello, for those of you who chose pile one, the blue quartz or image one, you're in the right place. So we will be using different modalities today to find out who is crushing on you. We'll start off with the astro dice. I'm gonna roll the dice and we're gonna see which signs we get. Now these signs could be the person's sun, moon, ascendant, or Venus. Okay, so um, also I will do a little descriptor of um, what these signs mean if we get these signs and they could very well be embodying traits of these signs, you know, even if they don't really have those in their char chart, birth charts. So, all right. But let's start with a quick prayer to spirit, okay? I like to start with a prayer to spirit so that it connects me to spirit. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to light some incense. All right, so spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to pile number one, all about who is crushing on them. And what do they want to do to them? All right, so what are their fantasies? All right, so thank you, Spirit. So I like to just cleanse the energy because I do a lot of readings. And speaking of readings, if you're interested in a personal reading, I do offer those. So check out my description box for, for more information about that. All right, let us begin. So I will start by rolling the astro dice, but for a little caveat, as I stated before, if I roll the dice and you don't know anybody with these astrological signs, um, that's okay because they're just meant to sort of be like a guideline or um, traits that this person is embodying. So they could have these signs in their birth chart, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they will have them in their birth chart, okay? All right, so Spirit, who is crushing on my pile one? We got a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Scorpio, and Libra. Heavy Scorpio energy here. So since we got um, double Scorpio, I'm gonna um, roll again. Scorpio and Aries. So we've got Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Libra. So this person, I'm going to do descriptors too. We're going to get into descriptor cards. But yeah, this person um, is very fair. They just hate taking sides in an argument. They'd rather not argue. Um, 
They're good networkers, good communicators. You can't always tell what they're thinking. Sometimes they keep um, their emotions to themselves. And they're very innovative. They have quite an imagination. All right, so that's just some clues. Now let's get into some physical descriptors or energetic descriptors. I've got a whole bunch here. What I'm going to do is just pick some out. All right. All right, this person could have a mullet or like have hair that's like longer in the back, shaved or cut shorter on one side. So uneven hair. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mullet, but it could be like uneven haircut. Okay, an uneven haircut. Plus size. Oh, yeah, I wanted to say, too, that some of these might describe your physical apparatus. So and also another caveat with these is that I might lay down like 10 or 12 of these. And only two or three are meant for you to take as clues for who this person is. So they may not all apply. For some people, I've had them say, wow, these really described my energy. Yeah, that's because I'm reading energies here. So I'm reading your energy and the person who has a crush on you. All right. All right. What else is another descriptor spirit of the person that is crushing on my power one? Could be a mechanic type, somebody who works on cars, somebody who is good with their hands, is somebody who knows how to fix things quite well. Could be an older male here, okay? Could be older than you and a male. Secretive, so this person is definitely not telling you that they're crushing on you. All right, so they're keeping it a secret from you. They have a good sense of humor. What else, Spirit? All right, we've got short. This person could be short or you could be very short. What else, Spirit? This person could wear a lot of baseball caps or hats. This person could have a buzz cut or some kind of shaved, you know, shaved shaved on one side or something like that. Pear shaped. Very sexy. What else, spirit? Could have sideburns. Okay. So I hope that helps you to know who, you know, as a descriptor of their um sense, you know, their energy or how they look. Hopefully that'll give you some clues. All right, so I will also do some tarot cards just to see um, if I can get any more hints or clues about who this person is. All right, Spirit, what else can you tell us about this person who has a crush on my pile number one? I just heard two could be more than one person. So it could be more than one person. All right, so who has a crush on my pile number one? Can you tell us about this person a little bit so we know more about who this is? This person might like to um, have a lot of alone time or work from home. Maybe they work from home or they, they just really like to spend time alone recharging and that kind of thing. Boy, this person really thinks the world of you. Um, yeah, with the world here, you could have also, um, met this person on the World Wide Web that can sometimes, sometimes denote that, that you met this person online. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, that could be you or this other person, but this person is the kind of person, they're, they're very honest, okay? They do not like lies. They also don't like bullshit and they will cut out people who are giving them lies and BS, they kind of act like a fire sign. Um, they have embody these traits. Like they're very attractive, physically attractive as a person. They have a charming personality. They tend to get along with all kinds of people. Um, they kind of tend to be like more outgoing and they love the spotlight. They're very good in the spotlight. Um, they have a lot of creativity and they have a lot of joy and enthusiasm for life. Very exuberant personalities. This person definitely um, is having a lot of sexual thoughts about you. 
bordering on obsessive. <laughs> okay. Um, like, I'm not going to lie, this person thinks about you a lot. Um, they feel very attached to you that way, like, sexually. Because they are having a lot of th thoughts about you. And sort of like meeting up with you in the 5D. In their dreams. In their mindscape. And that kind of thing. Um, Alright, so maybe I'll do just a few initial. Not a lot, but just a few. And some channeling. You could see their name or initials here. I'm seeing Leo, Leon, Lionel, Lonnie. This person might have um, very nice legs or long legs. I'm seeing long legs or they love your long legs. Something about long legs here. For some of you, this could be an ex who is still crushing on you. I was picking that up before. I just... Didn't want to say it because sometimes when exes come through, people don't like that. But there is, you know, there's multiple people here for this group. So one of them is your ex that's still hung up on you. Okay. I'm not going to lie. When I see it, I, I say it. Okay. When it comes out, I say it. Um, I think that's probably good. Maybe just a couple more. Hector, Gary, Lonnie, like I said, Lonnie is coming through again. Sean, Heidi. Um, I am sensing too that like one of these people, either you or this other person could be interested in like manifesting, um, maybe even spell work, something like that. Um, they're thinking a lot about indulging in sex with you. Because I'm seeing that here. <laughs> and I'm hearing that too from spirit. Lots and lots of heavy like sexual energy here. With, between this person and their desire for you. Um, I feel like this person may have exited your life. If this is an ex. And like maybe you don't even talk to this person hardly at all anymore. But they're still hoping to somehow get with you. You know. Or thinking about the past in retrospect. They're like. Yeah, they're reminiscing. They're reminiscing. But there's more than one person here. So definitely see, you know, what you can see. Because there's a couple. There's at least two. Mm-hmm. There's at least two. And they're very different. They're very, very different. In fact, one person could even be of a different ethnicity than the other. So... Or be from a different culture or a different part in the world. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing this. I'm hearing that um, desert or Amazon. Something like that. Or um, even Africa. So there's, there could be a tie or an affiliation with Africa. All right. And I heard Cupid's arrow. I feel like one of these people is like a, um, maybe a new crush and they feel like they've been hit by Cupid's arrow. <laughs> okay. Um, country music. I just heard too. This person, one of these people could really like country music. Or I mean, hey, that could even be you if you like country music. And I don't know why, but Spirit just said Taylor Swift. You could be a huge Taylor Swift fan. All right, and you're very um you you are ever changing too. You know how Taylor Swift has gone through different like changes and stuff and evolution. I feel like that could be your energy too. So if you relate to that, leave a comment. Cause Spirit is saying that wow, you have changed for over the last like five years or something. Like you've had a huge transformation, and Spirit is acknowledging that. All right, so what is this person or these people's um, fantasies about my pile number one?
All right, what is their, what are their fantasies? What do they want to do to my pile number one? Whoa, <laughs> that came out. This person definitely is thinking about like tying you up, handcuffing you. They want to see you revealing just a little bit of uh, skin and they love your smile. They just, they love your hair. They love your smile. They think you're cute. They think you're adorable. You may look very young for your age. Um, they want to see you like posing for pictures. They want to see you with like little cat ears or something or little like being almost like, okay, I think you're younger than these people that are crushing on you because there's a lot of um, young, like youthful energy here in these cards. And I'm really sensing though, picking up from this, that this person loves to see you in the color black and they want to see you in like black lingerie if you are a woman watching this. Um, and they want to see you like, dressed up so role play manga um they love japanese anime they want to see you um making that you know that face like the in the japanese in like the um hentai or the you know that uh, i don't know it's like they make this funny face where like they stick out their tongue and they cross their eyes i feel like this person likes that kind of thing and they think that you are just adorable. I'm hearing the cat's meow. They think you're the cat's meow. Um, this person definitely is thinking about having a family with you. Wow. Huh. Yeah, they're thinking about that you are just, I, I just heard like, you could be like pocket size or something. Like they think you're very petite. They want to like pick you up, have their way with you. Um, Almost like, yeah, like weightless. I'm hearing weightless. Um, carving out a little bit of time for you and for you and them. Um, this person also loves just being between your legs. Like that's their favorite place. That's where they want to be. They, that's their favorite place in the world. They don't long to be anywhere else, but between your legs. It's like their favorite resting place. It's where they want to settle in and nuzzle, nuzzle their, their face, like in between your legs and like and your breasts, okay, if you are a female watching this. Um, I feel like, too, they want to, like, they're thinking about your lips quite a lot, and they love your little, how you can look almost, like, very, um, like, little kiddish in a way, like, very innocent, and I heard beguiling, too. <sighs> okay, I don't even know what the heck that word means, but I heard beguiling, so I think I'll look that up, because sometimes spirit gives me words, and I'm like, okay, spirit, I don't know what that means, so let me look that up. Okay, I looked it up. I looked it up and it means charming or enchanting. Okay. So, yeah, they think you're very um charming, attractive, pleasing, enthralling. Okay. So, thank you spirit for that. But yeah, I do feel like you have a very youthful energy about you. Now, when they when they're thinking about handcuffing you, they're thinking about you like, you know, it's not raw for anything, like not like doing anything against your will. Like they want you to be having fun with it. You know, they want to see you like laughing, enjoying the process, having a fun time. They really want to like please you. <clears throat> they love your mouth. That's what I'm hearing. Like they like it. They want to be teased by you too. And um, they want you to like place your mouth all over them, all over their skin, um, all over their certain parts of their body. And they love how you're so, you're so adorable. Like you can, um, like I'm seeing somebody who's like, like sitting on a, um, like sofa with your feet tucked up or something. Like you don't just sit on a sofa, like with your legs touching the floor or your feet touching the floor and like sitting like all prim and proper. Like when you're sitting in a chair, I'm seeing somebody who's like got your leg legs tucked up and like you you like to sit in like cross-legged or like in a lotus position or you like to sit in like a, maybe like a fetal position or something like that but like this person thinks you're like adorable everything you do all your mannerisms so this person just wants to like lay their head on your lap that's what i'm really sensing they love your um perky breasts if you have you know breasts <laughs> they love how like perky you are like how youthful and perky and pretty you are um they just want you to wrap your arms around them and just kind of embrace them and they've been dreaming about this for quite a bit um 
yeah, they want to, they just want to be touched by you. This person, they're having a lot of like kind of explicit fantasies that, um, kind of involve like you, you and them, um, I guess like, uh, and something here about your panties, um, I can't really go into it too much in, in this reading, but if you are interested in my Patreon, I go into a lot more detail on there, but, um, I will tell you what I can tell you, but yeah, um, this person like wants to rip off item and items of your clothing in a way and like take you from somebody who's just cute and adorable to like, um, Gosh, I'm hearing like coquettish. I don't even know what that means. Coquettish. All right. Oh my goodness. I have to look up another word. That's okay. Coquettish. Flirtatious. Okay. So co coquetry, coquetry is um, being flirtatious. So they want to see you flirting more. They want to see you like more sexual, I guess. And, um, they're fantasizing about like almost like yeah getting rough with you in a way but also being sweet with you it's like a mix okay um and like I said this person does fantasize about having a family with you they imagine what it would be like to like if you are a woman they imagine like what it would be like to get you pregnant or like or be with you while you're pregnant um something here about your breasts being very full and tempting <laughs> luscious um yeah they just overall think you're very luscious um all right so what else are they thinking about doing with my pile one spirit i see them like placing a crown on your head almost like glorifying you um they love your tiny waist. If you have like a tiny waist and bigger hips, they love that. They want you to wrap your legs around them. And they want to see you pleasuring yourself. That's what they're really hoping, hoping to kind of see in the future is like maybe you sending them a video of you doing this or something like that or like pictures of you doing this. They want to see this. They want to see more of you pleasuring yourself and sort of enjoying the moment, <laughs> enjoying your body. Um, that's what that card is all about. And they want to see it. They want to watch it. So they would like you to either take pictures of the process or take a video of the process and send it to them or just do it in front of them or with them even like at the same time as them some kind of mutual um touching so that's definitely what i'm picking up on from these people or this person whoever is crushing on you this is a very strong energy here um also i don't know why i just noticed that um there's like a cup here a spilled cup here i feel like this person wants to like get you a little tipsy okay and get your inhibitions down and maybe even do some food play or fruit play this person could have a tattoo on their arm some kind of tribal thing swirls tribal something like that or yeah there's something some kind of tattoo one of these people has on their arm either their forearm or their upper arm on one or both so that might be a clue as to who this person is. Beautiful hair. This person has, the person that has a crush on you has beautiful hair. Um, wow. Almost reminds me of like Brad Pitt from Legends of the Falls. Like could have long hair or even like medium hair that just kind of has that rugged handsomeness, you know? For you, my pal one. So, and then there's like another guy that has short hair. All right, and then for the ladies, I'm seeing women with long hair, too. Ranging from red to dark. All right, that's what I'm seeing from you, my pile one. I think that's about it. 
if you enjoyed this though and you want to know if you want to you know see more types of readings like this just go ahead and check out my patreon it's only three dollars a month to join and i can get into juicier topics there and show more cards and talk about things in a fashion that um you can only do over on patreon so check that out for yeah jo join my patreon if you would like to i'd love to see you over there um, you can have full access to my library, and I do weekly uploads on there, too. Also, um, if you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those. Check out my description box for more information on that. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. All right. Thank you so much, my pile number one. Stay beautiful and sexy. Bye. Hello and welcome my pile number two. So if you chose rose quartz or image two, you're in the right place. For today's reading, it's all about who has a crush on you and we're going to get all into the description of what this person looks like, your energy, astro dice, and then I'm going to find out from spirit also um, what are the 18 plus messages for you about what this person is fantasizing about you okay so i'm just gonna start with a little quick prayer to spirit and then i'll roll the dice so spirit please be here now with me help me to deliver clear concise and accurate messages to my pile number two all about the person who's crushing on them and what does this person want to do to them sexually thank you spirit all right, so I am going to roll the asteroid dice, and we're going to see what signs this person could be. This could be their sun, moon, or ascendant, or Venus sign. All right, now if this person, if you don't know anybody that has these, just keep um, keep watching because it might become clearer. We're going to be using a few letter tiles, not a lot. Um, maybe channeling just a few names, maybe five or six. Not a lot. And um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of descriptor cards as well. So, So we've got Sagittarius energy. We've got Gemini energy, we've got Pisces energy, and we've got Aries energy. Okay, so this person, they are very innovative, they're very imaginative, they're also very um, adaptable, communicative, intelligent, youthful for their age, they're young at heart. Um, this person is very dreamy, you know? Um, they have a very vivid imagination. They're good with networking. They're good with people, good with all types of people. They have a real sense of adventure, but they also have a side of them where they like to stay kind of inside, you know, and recharge. But like they need to balance that with getting out, um, getting out of the house, doing things they might like to travel. And they're very dynamic people. All right. So that's just a little... Um, observation that I'm making about their energy based on the astro dice here. So now what I'm going to do is I have a whole bunch of descriptor cards and I mean a whole bunch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out some of these descriptors, okay, to see what this person looks like or their energy is like. So I will say though, I might lay down like 10 or 12 of these cards and only two or three might give you hints and clues as to who this person is. Leave all the rest take which only take only what you like and leave the rest or take what resonates okay so these are only meant to be hints and clues as to who this person is okay and then we'll get more into it too with the tarot and as always if you um if you watch this for a while and it still isn't resonating you can go back to the beginning and choose a different one all right so spirit what does this person look like for these people all right so for for some of you this person um could have is an aries Actually, that's a lot that came out. Wow, that's a lot that came out. Um, could have like a... One of these people could have a cranky disposition. Okay. Could be very talented. Could have a sort of a large nose. Okay, but maybe they have like a larger face. I am, I am sensing though that this is multiple people that have crushes on you. So keep that in mind. Septum piercing. Okay, one of these people has a nose ring. I'm also hearing for some of you, this could be, this um, may surprise you who this crush is. All right, we got somebody that could be a mixed race. Very outgoing. 
All right. One of these people does suffer from obesity. I'm not going to lie. That's what spirit wanted to bring through. All right. One of these people might wear hair extensions. One of these people could have very big nostrils. Okay, that is very interesting. Small teeth. Bald with a beard. Okay, I'm just going to get a couple more. All right. So one of these people could have like a high forehead. And be like small or petite or that could be you. All right. I hope that helps. Sometimes these descriptors help and sometimes they don't. I am also seeing this one. They could have very full lips and a medium frame. So if you know somebody like this or a couple people like this, yeah, don't forget too, this could be same sex individuals, like even friends that have secret crushes on you, like friends that are pan or bi. All right. Um, cause that's what spirit is telling me that this could be a friend. So, all right, this is a secret crush. Somebody who might have like mood, mood, like mood issues, like ups and downs, um, kind of like maybe like, um, even bipolar or like, uh, maybe borderline or something like that. All right, I'm an honest reader, so I'm just going to tell you how it is. This is what this is who it is. This is somebody who has a crush on you. I'm not saying you like this person back, but um, this is definitely uh, one of the people that likes you. Could be somebody of a mixed race or ethnicity. Um, could have hair extensions. Now, this could either be this person or you could even find some of these traits to describe you. Okay, so if any of these describe you, that's because I'm reading energies here, okay? All right, so yeah, and also Spirit just like whispered in my ear Aquarius. So Aquarius energy could be coming up, just kind of screaming out to me right now. And so if you, if that resonates, take it, okay? Now, I do want to just like, Pull a few letter tiles to see who this person could be to verify it for you or these people. I will just tell you a few names I'm hearing. I'm hearing like Aiden, Adriel, Terrell. I don't know why I'm hearing Nike. Maybe this person likes to wear a lot of Nike stuff or is very sporty. Tina. Sebastian or Sam. Rita. I'm hearing too this person could enjoy karaoke or going out to bars. Could be blonde or you could have blonde in your hair. Could be bleach blonde. Okay. So I'm just going to do a little bit of channeling too to see who this person could be other than I'm really picking up strongly like a friend, a friend who has a secret crush on you for real. Um, I am seeing bald in here too. So there is somebody bald that you know, somebody that's bald that know, that you know that is secretly crushing on you, okay? This could be a teacher, a friend of the family. You might be like, ew. <laughs> Some of you, you might be like, no, I didn't want to know that, but... Hey, you know what? I deliver messages from spirit, so this is this is who the person. Um hearing the name Jonathan or John, Johnny, Lenny, Sadie. Um this person could live in a different town than you. 
or one of these people. They have an interesting job or profession that they do for an inter for a living. They have interesting hobbies. They're very good with their hands. They're good with writing. They're very intelligent. May even wear glasses. Has a lot of wisdom. Could be older than you. You might have known this person for a lot of years. I am definitely hearing secret admirer. This person likes to play card games. You know that card game bullshit? This person likes to play games like that. Or drinking games. I'm here in Ohio and I don't know why. Maybe this person could be from near Ohio. Um, India. Indiana. This person could be really old. <laughs> I'm hearing rotary phone, so this person could be really old. Like this person, I don't really want to say a certain age because I don't want to offend anybody, but older than you, I'll just say that. Um, this person could have been jobless for a while or in between jobs for a while or laid off. There's something to have to do with work here. It could be a coworker or a boss. Wow. Coworker or boss for some of you. Okay, that's what's coming through. Um, you could be a tarot reader yourself, because I am hearing that. Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a word in my mind. I don't know what it means. So I feel like I have to look it up. Yeah, it's leaf, ludomancy. What's that? It's like magic. I'm hearing ludomancy. ludomancy. I didn't even know that was a word. I guess it's magic. Another word for like magic or something like that. Something with dice and playing cards and. This person could like chess. Um, wizards. They're very intelligent, whoever this is. They could like Dungeons and Dragons too, I'm hearing. They like magical things. They have like a love for the esoteric, whoever this person is that's crushing on you. This could also be, I could be picking up your energy, like I said before. Anyways, let's see if you want to, if you're interested in knowing what this person wants to do to you, stay tuned. If you're like, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> I understand. Watch a different pile. You might find, you know, somebody, I'm just getting like, for some of you, you're just like, no, I didn't want to know about that. But like for others of you, maybe this is somebody you like, you know, I'm just getting like kind of mixed feelings for my pile too. All right, so what does this person really, really want to do to my pile number two? Just remember, guys, I'm a very honest reader, so I always call it like it is. And I always, you know, I let spirit lead me and lead the conversation. So for some of you, it's like an attractive boss that you're like, ooh. And for some of you, it's like an unattractive boss that you're like, ooh. You know what I mean? Or like somebody that you know, it could be like a friend of the family that is way older than you, then you're just like, no, I don't want to know what they want to do to me. And that's fine. And it's just going to be different for everybody. So if you do want to know, stick around. If not, go, like I said, check out a different pile. But I'm always going to be an honest reader. I hope you like my style. All right. What does this person want to do to my pile too? All right. This person definitely wants to kind of catch you as you're coming out of the shower or bath, like in a bathrobe. Kind of like, oh, you know, peekaboo, like see you, see what you got going on. Also, this person is thinking about like whips, chains, 
seeing you in like a nightgown. Um, even a naughty nurse role play type of thing. All right. They like your innocence. They think you have like a sweet and sexy demeanor. Um, they like your youthfulness. They love that about you. Um, supple. I'm hearing supple. This person thinks you have supple skin. Um, very soft. And I'm hearing luxurious. You, you look luxurious. You smell good. I'm hearing too, you smell divine. This person thinks you smell divine. Like when you walk by, this person just loses their cool. They lose it. All right. What do they want to do? They want to fight with you and then have makeup sex. <laughs> This person likes whips. They like chains. They like they like that. I'm hearing that whips and chains excite me. C -c 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 come on. <laughs> that Rihanna song, whips and chains excite me. Yeah, I know this person likes that stuff. It's like, you know, BDSM or whatever. Like they want to like lightly choke you and that kind of thing. They want to dominate you. They want to kind of like pull your hair. See, I was getting that. I was getting that. Yeah, they want to pull your hair. Smack that ass. They want to see you like bending over. They want to do this to you. They don't care who's watching. They don't care what other people think. Like if you gave this person the time of day, they would just be happy. They would just be happy. They wouldn't care if they got in trouble or anything else. Like especially if this was like a boss. Like I'm hearing you're worth it. Even if, if you wanted this person, they would be down for whatever with you. Yeah, you could even have somebody else or like this person could have somebody else or like this could just be like the fact of like people looking in like they don't care who sees. They just want to be with you. If you have somebody else, they're like they don't care about like the morals of it. Um, no judgment here. I'm just the deliverer of the messages. Or if they have somebody, they're like, yeah, because they want you. So. I'm just a deliverer of the messages, not saying it's right or wrong. Um, but this person, they kind of want to surprise you because they think that you maybe don't have a clue that they like you and they want to like come up and totally surprise you, put a move on you when you're not looking. See how she's got her back towards him and he's coming up like sneaking up on her. Yeah, you might have had a little bit of a hint or clue that this person liked you, but this person hasn't come right out and told you like, that they want you. But boy, do they like you. They think about like pampering you. Even like starting at your feet and just working their way up. Kind of like, um, like maybe even like, I just heard like being your bitch. Painting your toes if you're a female. Or like, I don't know, if you're a male, like they just think about like washing your feet, adoration. Oh my goodness. Okay. Totally adoring your feet, washing your feet, rubbing you with lotion, rubbing your body, your whole, all your, your legs with lotion. Um, I'm hearing smooth, smooth like butter. Yeah, we had this in pile one too. They want to see you pleasuring yourself. The idea that makes them really excited. All right, what else do they want to do? They want to have your partner try a toy alone and report back to you all right so this person wants to um have you give you a toy to play with and report back to them okay so that's what this is coming from they want you to take pictures of it along the way too so like they want you to they want you to pick out a new toy and they would they want to gift this to you and they want you to take pictures of yourself using it and send it to them or a video that's what they want this person could even be thinking about making it last all day. Making it last all day with you. Um, or even having phone sex. <laughs> give a foot job. I think this person likes your feet. Um, they want you to give them a foot job. Get a foot job from you. Something about your feet here they think is very sexy. You know, that's why we got this card here where he's like admiring her feet. All 
I, this person could want to like, yeah, use toys together. Like they use one, you use one at the same time. And create some kind of like exciting playlist of songs, of music, and listen to it together and share in that together. Get loud. This person wants to get loud. Get crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that J-Lo song. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. This person wants to get loud with you. Hear you. Alright, this person wants to kind of like watch you. Yeah, watch you touch yourself. And they want to touch themselves. Okay. At the same time. Very interesting. So yeah, if this is a boss and you've been wondering like, mm, I've been wondering why they've been staring at me like that. That's why. Or a coworker or something like that. Or even friend of the family. That's what's up. <laughs> They're having all these secret sexual thoughts about you, my pile too. If you enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube family. And if you would like to hear um, me uncensored, head on over to my Patreon. The link is in my description box below. It's only $3 a month to join, and you get access to my library of 18 plus uncensored readings and weekly uploaded videos. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, check out my description box below for more information on how you can obtain a personal reading with me. And also, if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected but always appreciated, and you can find information for that in my description box below as well. Anyways, thanks again so much for being here with me. Stay beautiful and sexy, Pile 2. Bye. Hello, my pile number three. So if you chose this beautiful lemon quartz or image three, you are in the right place. So today we're going to be finding out who has a crush on you. So I'm going to start with a little prayer to spirit. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile number three about the person who has a crush on them or the people who have a crush on them. And what do they want to do to them sexually? Thank you, spirit. All right, so number three, file number three, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the astro dice. And when I do this, what you're going to be looking for is the person's astrological sign, sun, moon, ascendant, or Venus. If you do not know these, don't worry about it because I'm going to get into um, descriptions based on what qualities or traits this person is embodying based on the astro dice. And I'm also going to be getting into... Um, a whole bunch of descriptors for their physical description as well as um their energy and also i'm going to be choosing out just a few letter tiles not a whole bunch and channeling just a few names not very many and i will be channeling some hints as we go along i'll be using the tarot cards and all kinds of things to help us to know who this person is and whatever spirit prompts me to use as far as modalities all right so spirit who is the person who's crushing on my pile three we've got a pisces capricorn pisces leo so since we got pisces twice i'm gonna roll again gemini so gemini leo capricorn and pisces all right very good now, what I can tell you about this person is if they don't have these in their chart, I'll tell you a little bit about their personality. This person loves the spotlight. They're very good with other people. They have high energy. They're never, ever boring. They love to keep busy. They like to start little projects. Problem is sometimes they don't always finish these little projects, but they like to have a lot of projects going on at the same time. They can be very hard workers at work. They could be liking to climb the ladder of success, and they're also very dreamy in their nature. So... You know, they could be a real dream boat, but they could also have a very good imagination as a Pisces person or Pisces embodying the Pisces. Let's see. Um, I've got a whole bunch of descriptor cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick some of these out. And what I'm going to do is lay them down. And let's say I lay down like 10 or 12 of them. You might only be able to take two or three of them because this is a general reading. 
and only, maybe only two or three are going to resonate with you. These are only meant to be hints or clues. Okay, so not all of these are going to resonate, but take what you like and leave the rest, okay? All right, so Spirit, what does this person look like or what is their energy? We've got somebody who's very self-confident. Could have a septum piercing. Oh, and this could be your energy too. Sometimes when I'm doing these, I'll pick up your energy. So don't be surprised if you're like, oh, hey, that's describing me and my energy. That's why, because I'm picking up on energies. Upturned nose. Full face. Could have a serious nature. Square shaped face. Could wear hair extensions. Could have olive or dark skin. Could have very thick hair. This person could exercise a lot. They're very honest. To the point where sometimes they can be downright blunt. Okay. I hope that this gives you a little bit of a clue into who this person is. I think what I'll do next is I'll grab some letter tiles and we'll get into like, you know, initials and that kind of thing of who this person could be. All right, so Spirit, who is this person? Please give us an init some initials, names, and hints here. I'm hearing Dylan right away. Diane. Donnie and Dan or Danny or Daniel, Danielle, lots of D names, <laughs> even Donatello. I'm hearing like Larry, Jasmine, Jeff, and Jack, Jackie, Tom, Tim, Soraya. Angel, Angelique, Dominique, Mariah, Cece, Cameron, all right, for some of you, there's an ex here who likes you, coming through this reading, button their head in here, there's an ex that is thinking about you sexually. There's somebody here jealous of you and your connection that you could have with somebody else or just very jealous of you, you know, kind of. This is somebody who's jealous of you, yet they kind of also want you in the same respect. They want you. So, all right, this could be somebody, um, yeah, it could be any gender. Um, this person, if this is, um, let's say you're a female and this is another female that is secretly liking you. This person could be jealous and competing with you too, but yet somehow also mysteriously attracted to you because I'm hearing going for the jugular <laughs> so this person you could have like a love hate relationship with this person or if this is an ex you could have like a love hate all right so you could see their initials in here or their name or your initials your name that's how you know this is your pile this person could have like or suffer from like stomach ulcers. I'm hearing like peptic, peptic ulcer. I don't even know this. These words that spirit give me, sometimes I'm like, really? But yeah, I'm hearing a peptic ulcer. I don't even know if that's a thing, but that's what spirit is telling me. I feel like now I have to look it up. Peptic, peptic ulcer. This person could have a peptic ulcer. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, It's like a stomach ulcer. So they could have something like stomach issues or something like that. Um, also, this person, um, wow, acid reflux, really? Okay, I'm, that could be you too. Maybe you have an ulcer or, or acid reflux because sometimes your energy could come in through here and I can pick up your energy as well when I'm doing these. So it's like, that seems very specific. So if that is resonating, let me know. But yeah, I am hearing like peptic ulcer or stomach acid. I'm hearing acid reflux. Um, I'm hearing another word that I don't know. I'm hearing like periodontist. I don't know what that means. Peri periodontist. Huh. Let me pause my video and see what this means. Okay. A periodontist is a dentist, dentist who specializes in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of periodontal disease. 
So you could be dating um, a dentist or this, or you could be a dentist or this could be, or you, oh my goodness, some for some of you, your dentist ha could have a crush on you. That's really something. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm also being shown like a um, body part piercing. So this could be you with like a navel piercing or um, nipple rings. Um... Some kind of a, yeah, some kind of very sexy piercing. It's personal. It's personal. It's not something you show off to a lot of people, but it's very cute and very sexy. I'm seeing cute. This person thinks you're very cute, but also very sexy. This person could be kind of coming across as shy towards you or uninterested. If this is an ex, they're still thinking about you, but you may not hear from them very much. This person could have lived in an apartment when you were dating them. Single. If they moved on, they're just not happy. Teacher. Could have been a teacher. I'm hearing, like, art. Could have been an art teacher. Even needle and nurse. I'm seeing needle and I'm seeing nurse in here. So this could be, you could be in the medical field or this person could be a nurse in the medical field or they, this could be one of the people that are crushing on you. Somebody who's a nurse, okay? There's male nurses out there too. So this could be a male nurse or, or a doctor or something like that. So that's what I'm hearing. I think there's multiple people here for you. Some of them are from your past that never got over you. Right in the middle is RJ. I don't know who that is, but for somebody, you've got RJ here. And DJ. Winter. Something about the winter. Maybe something happened in the winter or you met them in the winter or something like that. This person just wants to kind of like light a candle and get romantic with you. All right. Share with me in the comments what, you know, if there's anything that in, in the letter tiles that I missed. You can always go back and pause it and see if you can find different words. All right. Now that we kind of have an idea who this might be or who these people might be, let's see what they, what they are dreaming and wishing they could do to you in a sexual way. All right, so Spirit, what is this person dreaming or wishing they could do to my pile number three in a sexual way? I just heard devious. <laughs> devious. They think they either have a devious nature or they think you have a devious nature. All right. This person just definitely is thinking about like they want to see you in some kind of swimwear. They love to see you in white or black or even gold. Um, this is like their favorite colors. They want to see you like if this is a guy, he wants to see you wearing just nothing but his t-shirt, walking around the house or taking pictures of yourself in just his t-shirt. This really turns him on. Um, yeah, they want to see you in some kind of swimwear. Maybe you met maybe you met them in the winter, but they but then you were um, maybe, I don't know, something about swimwear. Maybe you guys went swimming in a pool together or a hotel pool or a hot tubbing and they saw you in a swimsuit and it's like etched in their mind or they never got to see you. There's something about a swimsuit here. They want, they're like dying to see you in a swimsuit, <laughs> bikini, bathing suit. It's a one piece, not a one piece, a two piece. They want to see you in a two piece or they're thinking about seeing you in just their t-shirt, nothing but just their t-shirt. All right, what do they want to do to them sexually? What do they want to do to my pile? Number three, sexually. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so yeah, captivating. I just heard captivating. They want to see you um, pleasuring yourself, okay? Um, yeah, like... Pleasuring yourself, um, capturing on video, capturing it in pictures. It's crazy because that card came out in all three piles, and I'm not kidding. And I have all these cards, and that came out in all three piles. 
But hey, you know, too, if you were drawn to any of the other piles, feel free to check them out because there may be, you know, other people in there that are crushing on you and you might be like, oh, I know who that is. You know what I mean? This person wants to, like, fight and make up with you. They want to... You might have had a little fight with this person, even if this is like an ex and maybe you left on a bad note or something. They want to make up with you. Whoa, some cards fly in here. What do we got here? All right, you could have literally have blue hair or color in your hair. But this is showing somebody with blue hair, blue. I'm also getting like purple or pink. But yeah, this person thinks you have a fun personality. Maybe you like to change your hair a lot and you keep this person on their toes. When you were with this person, if this was like an ex, they I feel like you treated this person like a king. Um, they might have been older than you. Maybe they thought that they were teaching you things, you know, like in the bedroom. Or they do want to teach you things in the bedroom. They want to open up your horizons is what I'm hearing. Open up your legs and open up your horizons. Oh, my goodness, spirit. Spirit just amazes me. This person likes that you are comfortable with your body and you don't mind showing your body. You know, that's another reason that they, they want to see more of you in like the swim swimwear and stuff like an eeny, eeny weeny teeny tiny little bikini. Um... Yeah, little tiny bikini or something like that if you are a female. They want to see you in the water because <laughs> that's coming out. Look at that. It's coming out again. They want to see you in a swimsuit. This is, yeah, that is something to me. All right, that did not come out before. That's never come out before. But that, that is interesting. Yeah, they, well, now that it's, you know, summer in a lot of parts during the, you know, in the world, they want to see you in a, in a, they're hoping to catch you in a, um, swimwear or maybe if you post pictures of yourself in swimwear on your social media or something and they're like oh kind of like just waiting for you to post like these pictures of yourself in swimwear all right wow this person wanted to have kids with you if this is an ex but they never got the chance or this is a crush that wants to have kids with you they think you would make beautiful babies ten of pentacles all right this person is a very hard worker. They are good at saving up money. You know, they could even be an earth sign. But yeah, they act like an earth sign. They're definitely saving up money for something big. Spirit, what else do they want to do to my pile three? Swallow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they're thinking about swallow. Okay, cheerleader and coach. So they want to, um, I mean, the swallow is pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, the cheerleader or the coach, they want to do this like um, fantasy where, you know, they're the coach and you're the cheerleader and they're being totally naughty with you. Um, they also want to do it like face to face. They want to face you so they can see everything, see the look on your face. All right. Um, this person could be also thinking about like, oh, that's funny. We had that in another pile too. They want you to buy you, um, some kind of a sex toy and have you try it out and report back to them and, um, let them know how you enjoyed it. Maybe even take pictures along the way. That is funny though. Cause that came out in one of the other ones. They want to hear you scream loud and they want to be the boss of you. All right, this person could even think, be thinking about having sex in public, pinning you down and like holding you down while they have their way with you in like a forceful way. Not in like a horrible way though, just in a way that kind of gets your attention and makes you almost feel like uh, subdued or like s submissive. Yeah. Um. What else here? Also, this person like, <laughs> they want to like pick you up in a bar so they want to like kind of have that one like kind of like have like a fantasy of like you know you go to the bar together and you're like I mean obviously you know who this person is but like you go to the bar together and you're like hey do you come here often and like you do role play 
this person is thinking about doing different, you know, role play with you, obviously, because they want to like, you know, do this thing where you pretend you don't know each other, but you go home with each other in a bar or like cheerleader, coach, that kind of thing. All right. Um, this person also like wants to give you like a stimulation, G-spot stimulation. If you are a female watching this or like have you find their special spot, they want to totally please you and make you feel like you're not going to forget them. Okay. They don't want to be forgettable. They want to be the best. Um, I am sensing too, they want to play with the booty. Um, just kind of like try different things with the booty. Um, doctor and patient. So they may want to play like more role play. Like you're the doctor, they're the patient or vice versa. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. That just literally, did you see that? That flew out. Tantric sex. They want to take their time with you. They want to like try it tantric like sex, um, deep breathing, make it last all day. There's no rush. You know, this person, they want to take their time with you. Um, they want to try it all over the house or wherever. Um, they just kind of want to like come at you in a soft way, like a soft approach, just feeling like almost like a romantic type of thing. I feel like this person almost like has love for you or gets the feels when they think about you. All right. What else, spirit? Interesting. Um, so like this person is thinking about getting gets getting sexy in a new location. So, you know, having sex in a in a place where maybe you shouldn't be having sex, like in the office or um somewhere in public or something like that they're thinking about that they're kind of they have a naughty side yeah um also they're thinking about like oh didn't we have that swimming pool didn't we have that with the water yeah that was this pile with the water so there's the oh my god are you kidding me you guys with all these things about the bathing suit and the swimsuit and the and that they want to see you in the they want to see you in a bathing suit and stuff look at that and a swimming pool that came up before oh my gosh i have chills you guys i seriously do they definitely want to see you in swimwear they want to go swimming with you and they want to like make love to you in a pool okay i'm not kidding i am not kidding wow that was quite a confirmation so thank you spirit for that amazing well my pile three i hope you really enjoyed this and had a lot of fun with this i know i did so if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube family. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being here. I do appreciate you all. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, I do offer personal readings. So definitely be sure to check out my description box below for more information on that. And if you'd like to um, join my Patreon, it's only $3 a month to join and you get access to my library of 18 plus uncensored readings and I do weekly releases um, for, for uh, 18 plus readings on there. So every Wednesday I do release videos and they are juicy <laughs> and fun and we have such a blast over there. So join us over there, me and the Patreon family. Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. And then, um, yeah, so if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never ever expected, but you you can find information in my description box on how to donate if you'd like to. You know, I always appreciate that, but it's never expected. So yeah, so thank you so much again for being here with me and I hope you enjoyed. And if you were drawn to any of the other piles, feel free to join um, to watch any of the other piles that you were drawn to. Much love to you all. Stay sexy and beautiful. Bye.